the sunshine and please allow the rain to hold off until we're finished. But either way, we're thankful, Father, to be here this afternoon. It is a beautiful afternoon, and we come to humbly ask your blessings on this uh, next hour or so, as we're here to remember and to honor uh, Captain Henry Works um, and what he did. He, um, he stood for the truth. He did what was right and uh, could have gone another way, but he didn't, and he, he was a man of honor. And we uh, can learn from that, and we're here to uh, honor his memory. And Father, in our country today, many of the same issues from 155 years ago, or a little over that, when he was executed, uh, are still with us today in many ways. And uh, we're thankful for an example of someone who uh, did what was right. So we thank you for this afternoon, and we humbly ask for your blessings. In Christ's name, amen. When time shall have softened passion and prejudice, when reason shall have stripped the mask from rep misrepresentations, then justice holding evenly her scales will require much of past censures and praise to change places. This is a quote by Jefferson Davis. Discharging his duty with such humility as the hard circumstances of the time and especially the policy of the foe permitted, Captain Words became at last the victim of a misdirected popular clamor. He was arrested in the time of peace while under the protection of parole tried by a military commission of a service to which he did not belong and condemned to death on charges of excessive cruelty to federal prisoners. He indignantly spun a pardon proffered on condition that he would incriminate President Davis and thus exonerate himself from charges of which both were innocent. Now, therefore, by the city of Andersonville, I do hereby proclaim November 8, 2020, Captain Henry Words Day, this eighth day of November, 2020. Thank you. <laughs> 